Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to prove nth order derivative formulas in some AX functions. In our last video, we had made a reasonable assumption that the nth order derivative for some AX function is a power of n times sum ax plus n pi divided by 2. However, this assumption was based on limited derivative terms. So we have to prove this assumption is the right for the general case. Now I'm going to show you how to prove it with the induction method. As we know, the induction method include three steps. At the first, we should prove this assumption is right when n equals 1. So when n equals 1, this assumption becomes a power of 1 times sum ax plus pi divided by 2, which equals a times cosine ax. However, the result is exactly the same as what we get in direct derivative in sine ax, which is a cosine ax. So we prove that this assumption is right for n equals 1. The second step is assume this assumption is right when n equals k. So when n equals k, the case order derivative in sum ax equals a power of k times sum ax plus k pi divided by 2. Then the third step is to, based on the second step assumption, to prove the statement is right when n equals k plus 1. As we know, for the k plus 1 derivative, which is the derivative in case order derivative functions. So we have k plus 1 derivative in sum ax equals the derivative in a power of k times sum ax plus k pi divided by 2. After making derivative in sum ax, we have a power of k plus 1 times cosine ax plus k pi divided by 2, which can be written as a power of k plus 1 sine pi divided by 2 minus parenthesis ax plus k pi divided by 2 parenthesis. Here we should have another parenthesis. Then after using some trigonometric formulas, we can have k plus 1 order derivative in sum ax equals a power of k plus 1 times sum ax plus k plus 1 pi divided by 2. However, this result is exactly the same as what we get in assumption statement when the n equals k plus 1. So, we prove that when the n equals k plus 1, this assumption is right, as long as we assume when n equals k, the assumption is right. So, based on the last three steps, we prove that n's order derivative in some ax function indeed equals a power of n times some ax plus n pi divided by 2. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.